Please note that the following footage does not represent the final build of this game and the lag was caused mainly due to the fact that the internet connection was at a huge event. Enjoy. What's up folks, Max here over at the Indie Picnic and the XSplit booth. I'm going to be playing something of a unique fighting game today. I got Pierre here from Slow Clap and we're playing Absolver. How you doing man? Good, thanks for having me. So um, I've been hearing about this game off and on for what feels like a couple years now, from like early development to what it's at now, and I've never, ever, ever had the chance to play it. Now's and I time. feel that with all the fighting games that are out there right now, this one, this one looks pretty unique. Yeah. And I've been requested to play this thing for, I feel like, a year and a half of those okay. couple years I've heard about it. So you're going to take us through a demo? Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go through a little co-op demo so I can walk you through the main game mechanics okay. and then we can go into some one of you on fighting. Gotcha. So the game will indeed have cooperative multiplayer online? Uh, yeah. It's, so it's an online action game uh, in which you're exploring a small open world in which you're seamlessly matchmaked with other players all the time. Gotcha. So you build relationships in there. You can make friends, foes, mentors, students, different... This is all very freeform mm -hmm. and then uh, you, you learn combat style, you learn new attacks. We'll get into this. And then for those who really want to get into that competitive PvP action, right. there are specific game modes gotcha. uh, that you get to play. So it has its own world and it has its own separate game modes. Exactly. And the biggest, the biggest draw of the game is that it has an over-the-shoulder perspective combat style, yeah. really focused on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Exactly. And that's the thing I've never, I, I really want to check out. So let's just okay, jump let, us in. Let's dive in. Um, there's just a little mouse cursor on the screen here. Uh, if we can just move it over, I think it'll look better. It's dead in the center, and no yeah. one, everyone's going to be yeah. looking right at it. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to start by selecting a character. So characters are fully customizable in the game, but for the purpose of this demo, we've uh, created six characters cool. for you to choose from. So the first two, you go down in the presets. The first two, you'll see, uh, are... Can you control it? Not you right got the now. control? Oh, uh, we're not... I am on P2, you do have P1. I think it's so on that side we got. Okay, wait. I, I might be the, uh, I might have to join in. Just a sec. Thank you, oh, Spooky. Or maybe click, click. Got it, we're good. Okay, we're good, thanks. Thank so you, Spooky. Thanks, man. Um, so we should go ahead and. Uh, yeah, and just select the character. So these two here have the windfall combat style with a special ability is the avoid. These two have a parry, a special ability. And these two here can absorb enemy attacks. Gotcha. Let's take the one with the absorb. All right. So I think that should be unique. I'll take, uh, I'll take the more kung fu version. Okay. Actually. Should I jump in here? Yeah. You can go right in. So a lot of I did see on the latest trailer or one of the latest trailers that you have customizable moves as well. Uh, yeah. Are we going to be seeing any a little bit of that in this demo? Well, it's not so much customizable moves as in you learn different attacks in the game. And you can apply that to your and, character. And then you can you can create your own moveset. Okay, so here we are. We're together. And there's another dude here. I don't know who he is, but uh, the game is uh, live on the internet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Excuse for the me, moment, sir. he seems to be at all. <laughs> so you can start by activating that altar, which, will, which is sort of a checkpoint. Okay. And uh, we're going to do a little friendly sparring in here. So, well, fr from the altar, that's the place where you can jump into game modes. You can invite friends here. You can meditate. You can customize your equipment. Gotcha. But let's start by just going to straight into the basics of combat. Sure thing. All right. So if you press the right bumper, you can knock on a target. Gotcha. All right. So now we're both locked on each other. But we're still in neutral states, so we're not fighting. So I'm going to declare the fight with a social wheel. So okay. now we're in a fight state. So you've got, it's quite simple. We want it to do something that is accessible, really easy to pick up and play. So there's two attack buttons. One attack sequence with X and one alternative attack with Y. So gotcha. you, you can go ahead and try that on me. So you've got different moves here. All right. Um, well, I'm getting, I'm getting my back stuck in the wall. Okay. Uh, to guard, you can, to guard, you can, um, can you see me correctly? Yeah. It, I hope we're not having network issues. Oh, I think, I think it looks fine Indie on picnic. Mine. Okay, good. To guard, you can hold the right trigger up. Okay. If I hit you when you're guarding, you're your stamina gauge is going to go down. The stamina gauge is the white gauge on the top left corner of the screen. Gotcha. And just to make sure I'm guarding on my end right now? Uh, you're not guarding. It's the right. Oh, sorry. My bad. I'm tired. It's the left trigger. Left trigger. <laughs> my, bad, <laughs> okay. my bad. All right. 
So if you're guarding, you see that your stamina goes yeah. down slower. So the white gate just stamina and the top gate just health. Exactly. Okay. If, if you don't have any more stamina, your guard will be broken. Makes sense. Um, if you can dodge with B, dodge also consumes stamina. Gotcha. Got a Soulsy vibe just just in the terms of using stamina and preserving that during yeah, the fight. Stamina management. And this guy. Oh, all right, Who is this guy? Let's beat him up. How do I switch targets really quick? Uh, you hold RB uh -huh. and flick the stick. Got him. Let's beat him up. Please, sir. This is a. We're, this, we are. We are trying to show the game off. God. I'm. I'm learning on the spot. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. This is weird. Oh. No, that, that's you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got him down to half health. It's okay. Wow, he's beating us up. <laughs> Not anymore. No, no, no. Oh, I got turned around. Ugh. Ugh. I'm, leaving, I'm letting you handle him. But you know what? If he's a pain, we're just going to move somewhere else. I'm, I'm, he's almost dead. All right, you got it. I ran out of stamina, though. I got a little too excited. Okay. Wait, wait. Wait for it. All, All right, right, he's dead. You got it. Good. Okay. But he may be respawning in that area. <laughs> I Let's love it. wait for him. If he respawns here, we're, we're getting out of here. Yeah, we're just getting out Please. of here. Please. So something dropped from him. What did he? Yeah, you could revive him. But oh, we let's don't not do we that. Don't, we don't want to be reviving let's, let's him. Let's not yeah. do that. All right. Um, so... Uh, let me just see if, because I'm wondering if we're on the same um, version. You know, you know what? We're just going to run out of here. Okay. Okay, let's rush past these enemies. You can rush by clicking the right stick, the left stick, sorry. Okay. And just follow There is, beat. there, all of a sudden, there is like 30 people on my screen yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are whooping me. Move out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> Trying to find where you are. Okay, I'm down there. Okay, that guy that guy okay. split. Where this this I don't like this forest right now. It's very it's Where very volatile. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it, we're looking to give it a little challenge in here. So okay. I don't I, well, I, things seem to have cooled down. Are you are you I think you're under no bugs? Yeah, yes, that's you. Okay, that's we're, we're back. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let's go into co-op. So I'm going to request okay. I'm I'm sending you a co-op request. You hold LB. Uh -huh. You select the green one and release LB. Got there it. There we go. So now we're in co-op. Okay. Let's move out of here. So this is obviously a development. Oh, fuck me. There are so it's many yeah, people. There are so many. There are so many. Go under, go under. I'm going, I'm okay. going. But this is the development build, so obviously there is a few issues that are to be expected. And there's Let's also some very path. angry people in this forest. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's not exactly the place I wanted to go, but we'll make do. We've got it. We, okay, we, we're we, clear. They're not following us. Okay, so we're in a we're in a forest creating. This guy is pretty tough. Look at tough. this guy. This guy is pretty tough here. We don't want to be fighting right now. So now we're gonna run towards the forest outpost. So it should be. <laughs> I like it how around every bend and Turner is some super angry yeah. <laughs> person. Yeah, we call these lost prospects. They're um, so just. They're so NPCs. They are NPCs. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, are these people and are they no. doing this on purpose? No, no, no. Okay. They're NPCs in the in the storyline of the game. They're people who started like you as a prospect with a mask on their face, but they progressively went insane. Gotcha. Okay. So now it's just the two of us here. Since you're always seamlessly matchmaked with other players in the game, uh huh. Uh, but uh, since we're in co-op, we stayed matchmaked together. Gotcha. So let's. Go back to some sparring, all right? Gotcha. So we were discussing um, guarding, dodging, attacking. These are the basic combat mechanics. Right. But so let's go into a little more advanced stuff now. Um, we're going to start by the stances system. So if you hold the right trigger, okay. you can sh change stances with the right stick. Gotcha. And there's four stances, right? And there are four stances. Depending on the stance you're currently in, there are different attacks that are mapped in each stance. And this is what's customizable. Okay. You can choose what all the attacks. The attack we'll per get, stance. Yeah, we'll get to that in a was second. There, was there one attack per stance? or There's a sequence of up to three attacks and one alternative attack. Gotcha. We'll see the combat deck editor in a second. Um, we can see now the special ability. Yours is the absorb. So if you flick the right stick in any direction, 
you're gonna turn blue and that allows you to absorb enemy attacks so you will receive damages but you know, don't get stunned, you gotcha. don't get pushed back. It's just so armor. Yeah, so you can counter attack right away. So I'm gonna hit you, okay. and you're gonna absorb that attack, all right? A little early. A little early. A little late. And, oh, and again. Let's do it again. <laughs> this is this is a, this is this almost like a parry timing. Yeah, you gotta get a parry timing in. All right, this is, if you, if you miss this one, I'll kill uh -huh. you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> come on! I'm gonna revive you. Okay. I'm gonna revive you. All right. Uh, so should I be should I be looking for like a movement on your character to try to be ready for when the attack is gonna well, happen? As I'm doing this the same movement. So basically, it's um, I think when my feet leaves the ground, you want to try. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. Okay. I'm looking at your feet now, and it works. Yeah. Okay. Once more. Too early. Okay, too early. Oh, too early. too early. Too late. <laughs> there okay. you go. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. But the thing is, whoa. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that was a ghost. Fuck. Somebody, oh, no. Somebody came back. Oh, somebody came back. Oh, All right. God. Just, just beat these guys up. All right. I think I'm targeting the wrong person. Oh, oh. man. No? All right, let me revive you. I just have to. to <laughs> I just have to you. deal with two people that are Oops. very mad. All right, quick before they attack me. All right, we're good. Oof, right back into it. There we go. Ugh, okay. Okay. Now there's the two of us. That should be okay. Oh, he absorbed. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, he can absorb too. So I'm already doing the stand switching as well as uh, yeah. as well as trying the different attacks well, from there. Also, the, the idea is that every attack in the game starts in one stance and finishes in one stance. So as you attack, you're going to move fluidly from stance to stance. Gotcha. What I'm not doing is a lot of blocking currently, and I probably should give there that a shot. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. So we were talking about that special ability. Okay. Right. So let's get back into sparring mode. And the thing is, at some point, you're going to start absorbing all my attacks because you know my movesets. Right, right, right. So what I can do to counter that is, is faint, cancel. So if I attack and tap guard afterwards, mm -hmm. I can cancel out of my attack animation and so trick you into doing a parry or a dodge. Gotcha, or an, and the shadow, the shadow shows the thing you were going to do but exactly. didn't actually do it. Exactly, and so that's the really uh, sort of, you know, when you get into PvP, into these mind games of tricking your opponent to doing certain moves, etc. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty useful thing. And the, the Absorb, for example, does take a portion of the stamina, so you can't just keep yeah. using it and you does have recovery as well, so, yeah. You, yeah. Can just, uh, you can just spam it all over the place. Yeah. Speaking of which, there's one other small mechanic that's actually pretty uh, important to know. It's what we call perfect attacks. Okay. The idea is... We don't want you to be button mashing. We want you to be focused on the flow of your attacks. Gotcha. And so when you attack, you'll see on your stamina gauge, there is two little arrows that appear. Oh. And that's the moment where you want to be attacking again. Kind of um, Gears of War active reload yeah. mechanic. Yeah, I absolutely get it. There's also something very similar in Neo with how it does stamina as well, and I loved it. So let me see if I can get the hang of this really quick. There you go. When your character flashes golden, it means you hit it. So you shave off recovery at, uh, frames from your attack animation, and you stand and you stun your enemy for a little longer. Gotcha. And at first, you're going to be looking at the stamina bar, but eventually, once you get the yeah. timing, you're going to be looking at your character. And actually, one thing, you can maybe slightly see it, but if you just attack once, your character oh, there's slightly a flash. flashed golden. But we're in a sort of golden sunset light here. I see it, but though. But if you go in the shadow, you'll see it better. You see? And that also indicates the moment where you have to uh, gotcha. chain the, uh, the attacks. But as you say, it's more or less always around the moment of impact, and eventually when you know your move set, it really becomes a second nature. Makes sense. Just like, yeah, stamina preservation yeah. and all those other games. But you need to stay focused, though. Um, so why don't we, I'm gonna request respectfully that we stop the fight, and okay. if you're kind enough to accept, 
we're, we're gonna be in a neutral state again. Okay. And so since we're safe, we can enter meditation. Oh God, okay. So I'm ready to get zen. Let's get zen and customize the shit out of your combat deck. All right, let's go. All right. So you press start, go into meditation, and then you can hit RB once. And so you've got three combat decks uh, groups, bare hands, war gloves, and swords. So let's start with the bare hands one. Okay. So we're gonna edit number one. So, as I said, we've got four different stances. In each stance, you've got a sequence of up to three attacks. Okay. And you also have an alternative attack. We're gonna focus on the attack sequence first. So press A to enter this um, thing. So, as I was saying, every attack starts in one stance, finishes in one stance. So the first attack you have here on the left, which is the jab punch, mm -hmm. it starts front right, it ends front right. So it doesn't change stance. The second attack, however, starts front right and changes ends to front left. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put a third one there. Okay. Uh, just after, go back left once more, and on the plus on the third attack sequence. So, so go up, up and right. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And we're gonna add an, another one in there. Upstairs. No, you actually switched. Now you switch to. Did uh, I switch to the first left. one? So you move the right stick. Move the right stick to go front left again. Okay. Uh, front right, my bad. Move the right, right stick and go front right. There we go. There we so go. that was the sense we were editing. So let's go on the third attack of the sequence. And we're going uh, to yeah, switch go. to automatically to the next sequence in line. So press A. Now that's your attack list. Some of these are locked because you haven't learned them yet. Sure. And But if you go all the way down, we can put a low kick in there, for instance. Uh, yeah, this like one. Right here. here. Yeah. All right. So now the low kick, it takes you from front left to back right. So if you press X and go into training mode, now you can press X, 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 and now you're in back right. Makes sense. And so if you continue attacking, you continue on your back right sequence. Gotcha. All right, so uh, attack sequences, they can loop on themselves, they can send you in a different stance, it's as you want. And you know the feint we saw earlier? Right. It, you can faint out your first attack and jump directly to the second attack of your sequence. Okay. Um, so. And what was the uh, the command for faint again? It was uh, you attack and then you tap guard right afterwards. Oh, I think guard uh, is on this yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Makes okay. Gotcha. And that actually switches you to uh, the different attack in the sequence. All right. Cool. Um, so you can exit the training mode by opening the social wheel and requesting a stop fight against that dummy character. So now we're back on the combat e deck editor and let's go back to the front right stance. So now we're gonna see what alternative attacks do. Okay. The idea is that alternative attacks, they're always available and they depend on your current orientation. So let's go on the first attack of the sequence. So when you're in front right, you have two attacks at your disposal. The first attack of the sequence and your alternative attack. As, you, as we saw, that first attack, it doesn't change stances. Right. So after the jab punch, so if you go up and right, and go on the middle one. Middle one. You see that you'll have either the body blow, the curl up uppercut, or the same alternative because we're still in front right. Okay. But after that one, if you go on the third attack of the sequence, we're actually now in front left. So the alternative that's attack that's available after the uppercut is actually the front left alternative. Okay. And so if you play that alternative, you're gonna break your sequence and end in front, in back left stance. So that basically allows you, with your existing moveset, to break your sequences and create combos in real time. So it's just trying to create sequences that are gonna confuse your opponent and exactly. not always be the same thing, the same move list. Yeah, okay. exactly. And an interesting thing also with the jump elbow, as you see this little broken shield icon. Yeah, so that'll stop their guard. Yeah, it's, it's it breaks their guard much more than regular attacks. When you are broken in guard, do you get a free punish right after? Uh, you or can they recover? Oh, well, the stamina recover is pretty fast, gotcha. but you can get into there. That's gotcha. Yeah, that's the point. So you can go ahead and try this with X. So now, if you press X, X, Y, you're gonna end up with that jump broken elbow. And still and in the back stance. And enter in the back stance. Gotcha. So it's a really a very flexible system. You really build your own play style the way you want it, 
and we see you know different strategies emerge. Maybe you want to you know heavy hits in the back stances or a fast hit on your alternatives, circular hits on the left, straight hits on the right. You really build it the way you want. Absolutely, makes sense. All right, so um, let's get out of here and press circle. Uh, B, gotcha. sorry, and B again, and. Um, you can go in equipment before we go any further and RB once and we're gonna equip a weapon. Okay. Okay, so s press X and select your sword. The machete. All right, it's a, it's a, beer, it's a big machete uh, and we can exit that. Now, if you exit that again, you see these three glowing sh uh, shards mm -hmm. in your, we call them tension shards and you can use them to use special items, powers or to take out weapons. So your sword currently would use two shards. So if you press D-pad up, now you've got your sword. Makes sense. And the thing is, when you take out a weapon, lock, if you can lock on me with the uh, RB. Just is yeah, the okay. controller is, there we a go. is a bit yeah. tired. There we go. Um, now you switch to a whole different combat deck, which Makes is sense. your sword Because it's a deck. weapon deck. Okay. Exactly. So if you try out attacks, the whole system is the same. You can still change stances, <laughs> absorb attacks, etc. cetera. But uh, now it's attacks that you do with a sword. And the thing is, it's sort of a temporary bonus. Oh. <laughs> I'll revive you. Yeah, cheers. It's sort of a temporary bonus um, that uh, you get in combat because if you get, get hit too much while carrying a weapon, you can actually get disarmed and boom. And then it's gone. And I pick up your weapon. Oh, wow. So and you I actually, <laughs> okay. I actually start hitting you with it. You know? This is not good. <laughs> Time to start using all my stamina on guarding. Exactly. So you're probably going to take more damage, obviously, with a weapon. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. more, even even lose more stamina, stamina while guarding. Is there a specific draw to using hand-to-hand -hand combat over weapon combat? Or are they kind of tied to, like, weapon versus weapon combat? Well, you start with hand-to-hand -hand combat because this weapon is a bonus you're going to get after having fight. Basically, the tension charge is kind of like a super gauge. You know, it fills up during combat. Gotcha. And so, at first, you start bare hands, and you kind of earn you can, it. You earn the capacity of pulling out your deck. Gotcha. And you can still be disarmed, but you yeah. have to use it carefully. And obviously, you know, putting out your weapon not only does it do more damages, but it also, you know, mind fucks your opponent because now it's a whole different sure thing. combat deck yeah. to 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 do. Stuff so you haven't seen I'm before. I'm gonna put that weapon down because it's yours, and we're gonna go for a little more exploration in here. Okay. So let's move on, get a little fighting done. We're going to go all the way to the end of that map and fight a little mini boss here. Well, I must say, there's no friendly fire because we are co op oh, yeah. now. Oh, th even if we're in co-op, there's still friendly fire. Oh, though. no, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I might I might have hit you in the head a couple times no, with a I sword. Think yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Here we go. Gotcha. So I'm doing the guard break, and it's doing quite a bit of extended yeah. uh, stamina damage. Yeah. Boom. Oh, he guarded that. He got it. Oh, and I used all my stamina. Oh, oh. oh. I got it. I got it. There okay, we go. Good. So this one in here, that enemy in, inside this house, uh, we're gonna have to coordinate. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place myself behind her, and get the aggro while you try to uh, attack her. I'm gonna punch her in the back of the head while she looks yeah. at you. Got it. Uh, you can. Oh. You, ooh. Uh, you can take your sword out by pressing D bat up. That'll yep. do more damages. There we go. there. I'm not utilizing the dodge too much. I should probably be doing that. And then paying attention to the stamina. Oof. Oh. Got her. All right. Awesome. Nicely done. There All we go. Right. Wow, that was there a horrific go. scream. <laughs> I suddenly feel terrible. Okay, so you just looted another power. So, you know, you've got two powers here, which is on your right, a heal power, and on, on, your, on your left, a heal power on your right, uh, an earthquake, which stuns your enemy. Gotcha. And you just looted a new one, which allows you to drain stamina for y from your opponents. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to just go and loot a few war gloves in there. And you know what I suggest we do is, what do you think about, should we try drunken boxing? Let's do drunken. Can we do? Can we have swords while drunken boxing? We totally can have oh, swords while drunken. Oh, that was. I didn't expect so, you to say yes. So let's enter meditation again. Okay. And so the first thing you're gonna do is press RB and change your combat style. Okay. So currently you're using cult method, and you can choose the stagger style, which is a drunken boxing method. Gotcha. So press it. So now your characters, you know, start uh -huh, stumbling around. Oh, I'm getting around. Virtua Fighter 2 okay. flashbacks. So nice. good. <laughs> And uh, so go back with B. Okay. And we're also going to change the combat deck. So press. Uh, oh, one map. Yeah, go back to meditation. Okay. And uh, yeah, exactly. And you're going to select number two for bare hands and for uh, swords. Gotcha. So this one right here, right? Uh, the left. And yeah, number two. Okay. Number two, which is a combat deck that we've pre customized for the yeah, drunken style. For dr drunken boxing moves. So uh, and our, so select that one, go back, and select the second one for the sword also. All gotcha. Right? So now let's get out of there. And we're going to go in the sunlight a bit and do a little more friendly sparring. Or okay. Maybe not so friendly, but we'll see. We might not remember what happened the next actually, morning. Actually, <laughs> actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to Sagar style myself because it's really funny style. Should I start with hand-to-hand uh, -hand or pull out the sword already? Um, uh, whatever you want. Let's start, Let's start with hand-to-hand. Hand yeah, hand exactly, hand. exactly. So I'm going to lock on you here and declare the fight. Okay. All right, so now we're first thing you need to know is your special abilities are now different because your combat style is different. Wow. So you can do avoids on the side. Okay. If you go back, you, you'll avoid every attack and do that little hit in there. Awesome. And also, since there's an attack in there, when your character will flash, and you can perfect attack out of it. Okay. So, so and then, well, right now, just this this avoiding these these yeah. stances are kind of done with the stance change. So he, uh, the character will actually attack while stance changing, uh, while well in the drunken style, right? Does this change stance? I don't know. Wait. It, it, it certainly. Wait. Oh, you know what? No, I just realized. Yeah. I'm not holding down R. There we go. All right. Yeah. So if I hit you and you do back, for instance, okay. you ready? Ready. <laughs> one more time. All right. One more time. You see, cool. you, you stagger back and you put that little attack. And so if you attack right at the moment where this little lazy kick hits me, yeah. you're going to perfect attack out of it and chain and combo. Gotcha. All right? Uh, and if you go forward, it's kind of that sort of lazy stumble. And you see it's slightly blue. But it probably so has armor, right? It's absorb. Gotcha. It, it, it absorbs also. So it can't be interrupted. And on the side, it's a little, uh, all right? So now the alternative of front right is a really cool attack. If you press uh, Y, go in front right, and uh, so switch stands to front right. Is it this one right here? Front right is uh, this one, yeah. This one, okay. And do the alternative with uh, with Y. So you got these, these these nice little double attacks here, and most of the attacks you have are really like sort of stumbling all over the place. So just go ahead and learn your, I'm gonna just, you know, block here and get to learn your moveset a little. This is a little Ipo. Wow. I'm trying to also okay. pay attention to the stamina to recover a bit faster. Yeah. And uh, the timings have now completely changed now. <laughs> and that's actually a good thing because it's going to yeah. throw your opponent off of when you're supposed to be attacking. Exactly. And, uh, and it's part of your learning curve. I mean, you're supposed to... Um, <laughs> oh yeah, another another thing is these one thing I really like is um, the rush attack for the sword. Wow. <laughs> Does that only take place in the uh, the drunken stance? Yeah, of course. Gotcha. Are you is this uh, oh are you having network issues here? I think here? so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are we are outside. Yeah, we're alive. In I literally think, a live yeah. party right yeah. now. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, uh, it's so yeah, satellite. Let's, let's stop okay. the fight really quick. All right. And we should probably try to engage again, right? Um, yeah. Let's see if you, you can. You see me moving? I can. See, I can see you moving. Yeah. Let's see if we can jump in a one v one game mode. All right. Sure. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna equip my own sword because I'd forgotten to do that. 
if I use any one of these abilities down here, do they recover relatively fast? What ability? Like the sorry. left ability and the right ability? Well, they, you know, they use the tension shards. Gotcha. And the tension shards, they fill up over the, time. the tension of combat. And so it's kind of like a super gauge. It's re it's Makes uh, sense. You know, it's, uh, it fills up when you do special move, when the, you the hit. It's, it's essentially your meter. Yeah, it's your meter, pr pretty much. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and equip a sword. If you want, by the way, if you want to check out your equipment real quick, you can, um, so you've got nine categories, so to your left, you've got nine categories to choose from, so all the way up from your mask down to your shoes. Basically, you can move your camera in that mode if you want to check out. You can, um, it's basically a trade-off between your level of protection and your weight. So if you equip too much, uh, gear, you've got to be overweight. You're gonna, be, you know, fat dodging and um, stamina goes down faster. Stamina goes down faster, etc. <coughs> All right. So you actually can see on the right the impact that this has on your different stats. Staying in green usually good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <coughs> um, so why don't we go at the altar? and jump into a little game mode here. Okay. Oops. Grab that. So, as I was saying earlier, from the altar, you can go into, you can invite friends to join you in your game. Okay. So, people who you encountered, or your Steam friends, or your PSN friends, etc. And you can also jump into game modes that are really about combat. So, we've got one one versus one mode, and one three versus three game mode. Currently, let's try the one versus one. All right, okay. shall we? All right, let's go. And since you're searching, were you searching at the same time? Yeah, we were. And in this build, I mean, there's not many people. Very around. limited amount there, of people. There's yeah. actually a closed beta running uh, currently, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a separate build, and so um, so we're not with everybody. We don't have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, we're not with everybody. <laughs> running. That's yeah. why I was really curious. Yeah, there was a beta going on. Are these real people? You know, they like weren't. Th the dude we met early, he's probably on the Nvidia stand over there <laughs> on the on the show. It's like a demo stand. <laughs> because they're running the Absolver demo over there. <laughs> that makes too. sense. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right. I would bow, but I don't know how. So you can hold you can hold the emote wheel, uh -huh. and you've got. Oh, you don't have to bow. You can, you know, if you go all the way right to the right, you then no, nah, 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 no, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. no, no. This will not roll. Uh, all right. Can you see me decently? Yeah, right, I think okay, I think cool. we're running pretty well right now. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, th this high kick is one of my favorite moves in the whole game. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Ah, nicely done. Oof. And then Oof. suddenly I got impatient. Yeah. <laughs> my history of fighting games. A sword? How dare you? Uh, you can pull out yours. Oh, I know. If you can keep it, though. It's, it's right behind you if you want to take yeah. it again. Got it. So we're about even in life right now. Yeah, it's going to be tense, but I know a few. I've got a few tricks. Until I heal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Until I heal. Yeah. So the Healy's got a little bit of startup, okay? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, it. it's not free loot. I get it. I was just trying to build it up. We got very little life until I heal. Oh, God. And let's get right back into it. Yep. So my sword, I believe, is somewhere on the ground still. Yeah, well, you can, uh, if you want to try to grab it, you can. Or now you got mine. Ah. Oh. I don't care. Oof. Okay, so it's like kind of round based. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, this one is best of five. Oh, I was trying to use the earthquake ability. <laughs> I don't, don't think I had enough yeah, yet. Yeah, I just I just realized yet. I don't have enough yeah, quote unquote exactly. meter for it. I 
I got my back to the wall. Oh, your weapon broke right yeah, now. Yeah, it did. So you're gonna, but it was my weapon. Oh, nice. I was a bit far though. Oh, I yeah. dodged right into yeah, it. The circular hit. It's, it's hard, man. Please, please. No. Oh. <laughs> I've been playing this game for two and a half years. I understand, yeah. okay. <laughs> Trying really hard over here. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on minute but probably I mean, 30. Yeah, but you wouldn't want me to be too kind on you. I, no, yeah. not absolutely not. Then right. You're never going to learn. Uh, or I'm never going to learn. Oh! So as you see, actually, you know, here, I'm, I, I have the combat style, uh, the stagger style, but the moves I have are actually from a different combat style. So I can, I can use the combat style special ability, uh -huh. but, uh, but I still have four second move sets, which don't really cause, ooh. I All think right, the I backhand is pretty good. <laughs> you know, actually, one thing I forgot to, to tell you about, we're gonna make uh, a sort of parenthesis in combat. Okay. And if you just can put your guard up, and I'm gonna hit you if I manage to lock on you. And you see here this little attack icon yeah, I see that it. appears. When you're when you guard an attack that you don't know, you're gonna learn a little bit of it. Okay. And if I do the same attack and you like avoid back, you're gonna learn it faster if you use your special gotcha. ability. Gotcha. So there's a slow experience burn if you guard and a faster one if you actually dodge. Exactly. So I'm gonna attack you now. Okay. If you and there's the guard, and this yeah, time I'll do I'll do the dodge. Okay. Should I dodge with B or uh, the back? No, you can, you know, the back. Yeah, the back. That, that one. one right? Gotcha. You and see, I see it went up even yeah, more. You learn it more, and so that's the way that you discover attacks, and um, that you can, you know, get new attacks to use in your combat deck. Gotcha. So these attacks that were locked in the combat deck, at some point you're gonna unlock them and have a huge variety of attacks to choose from. That's okay, that makes sense. And it's actually, it's, it's, it's something, th the important thing to note is that you need to win the fight to actually cash in that attack XP. Oh, so even if you dodged a whole bunch of stuff yeah, and, and you're and mashing you die, on back the whole time, and you, you don't die, get it. you lose that attack XP. Gotcha. Right? And, uh, and it's it actually, you know, besides what we're doing now, which is PvP, it actually, you know, there is, when you're fighting NPCs in the world, it makes for a super interesting uh, form of learning because you're gonna like attack them and you're gonna, but you don't wanna kill them right away yeah. because you wanna learn that attack XP from them that before they sense. die. You tell but me you want me to farm people? Well, it's, it, but it's, uh, it's an interesting way of farming because what you do is you're, as a you're player. You're training. Yeah, as you're a player, training. you learn the attack, what it looks like, how to counter it, etc., uh -huh. and your character also learns it's kinda, it. It's kind of it's kind of a direct a direct reward for learning how to yeah. technically fight that move. Exactly, exactly. And when you the other thing, the other way you can also use attacks that you don't know mm -hmm. is uh, when you have a mentor, when you join a school. Let's say you're um, you're a advanced player. You've got a kick-ass combat deck. It's yeah. a super good strategy. You want to share it with others. You can create a school of combat based on that combat deck, and you give a weapon to that school of combat right. and, uh, a, and a few elements. And if I decide to join your school of martial arts, uh -huh. I'm going to be able to use your combat deck even though I don't know the attack yet. So the school is like, 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 like a, a guild, for example, that everyone shares with each other, exactly. knowledge and information. Okay. Exactly. And so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much about um, uh, yeah creating schools, getting followers there, and uh, and uh, you know different schools will pretty much measure different combat decks against each other because the most successful schools will be the ones with the best combat decks. Right, that's cool. So like you can kind of build as a group and go out and get the bigger schools, yeah. and it'll be faction versus yeah. faction at some point. Okay, exactly. We're really and it's all martial arts based, so you can have. <laughs> the the drunken dickheads <laughs> and you're like hey wow. what why is the school called that that's a good point actually I don't know if we're actually uh, letting players choose the name but that may create that issues it I'll could create issues but totally uh, awesome yeah I'll have to look into that though. <laughs>
So should uh, we should we finish this matchup? Finish, because I think we're at two to two this. right now. All right. All right, okay. here, let's do this. Well, I'm gonna be ruthless, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's going poorly. So I bring out the sword. All right, all right. We'll try to bring out this sword. And uh, important things. Oh, I may have mentioned this. The sword does chip damage. Oh, okay. So, so you will lose damage if, even I'm blocked. Even if I'm blocking, yeah, you will see damage. Oof. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Oh wait, I, I, there's no way I'm losing this fight. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody told me about ring outs. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I may have forgotten to mention it. You wanna, if you want a rematch, we can do a rematch. It, it wasn't, it wasn't very honorable. I agree, I agree. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, all right. I couldn't lose that first fight. You know, it was. Uh, no, I get it. Therefore, you know. You, no, I get it. You get everything. Um, no, I every get it. Every tool at your disposal. <laughs> you know, it's important. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, is there anything else we wanted to show off in the build right now? No. If you're frustrated, you can do a rematch. But if not, it's uh, most. I, of, you I know think what? I think that was a good learning experience. Okay, cool. Based on the same thing, it's just like a move. Be careful of the cliff. <laughs> Either way, Pierre, thank you very much, right. man. Absolver right. looks awesome. I can't wait to play it myself. When's it coming out? It's coming out August 29th on PC and PS4. And uh, we'll be looking uh, to release an Xbox version uh, in, uh, in the month afterwards. Very cool, man. Thank you for showing it. And we'll be back with more games very soon. See you dudes All next right. time. Thank you.